Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to connect MemberPress to your live PayPal standard account. Please note that if you would like to learn how to use sandbox mode with your PayPal account, you should visit our user manual and under the payment methods section, click on the PayPal sandbox option. The first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to your WordPress dashboard, then MemberPress, then options, and then the payments tab here. Once here, we're going to click the plus symbol to add this new gateway. To start off, you're going to want to first select the type of gateway that you are trying to create. In this case, PayPal Standard. Once you've done that, be sure to give your gateway a name. It can be whatever you want. Next, you're going to need to enter in your PayPal email, which is the email associated with your business PayPal account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The next option that you see here is for advanced mode. With advanced mode enabled correctly here, your users will be able to cancel, pause, or resume their recurring subscriptions from their account page in addition to you being able to do the same manually from the MemberPress admin. Without it enabled, you lose that capability. Please note that your PayPal account must have been created after 2009 to use PayPal's API that enables advanced mode. If your account is older than 2009, you'll have to contact PayPal about upgrading your account. Now let me show you where you can get your API credentials to use advanced mode in PayPal standard. You'll need to start by logging into PayPal.com, which I have already done here. Next, you'll want to click on Profile, Profile and Settings, and then once here, My Selling Tools. Then in this top section here entitled Selling Online, you'll notice API Access here. Simply come over here and click the Update button. Here we are looking for the bottom option entitled MVP SOAP API Integration. Now if you have ever created API keys for another system, you'll see View API Signature, like I am. But if you have not, then you should see a link that says Request API Credentials. Should you need, should you need to request API Credentials, here is what it will look like. You'll just need to click the Request IP API Signature button here, and then the Agree and Submit button there. After you've done that, you'll see a page similar to what I'm about to show you here. On this page, you'll be able to see your API Credentials. For time and security of my API keys, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste them over to my site. So I went ahead and clicked the advanced mode checkbox here and entered in those credentials as you can see. Please note that we have organized these fields so that match up with what you see in PayPal. In other words, the API username is on top, then the password, and finally the API signature. Be sure that you copy and paste these over correctly and that there are no spaces before or, or after your entries. Now I need to set up my IPN URL and return URL. I will start with the IPN URL. Clicking the clipboard icon shown here will allow me to easily copy this IPN URL. After doing that, I'll go back to my PayPal.com profile settings. my selling tools again and this time I'm looking for the instant payment notifications option here under the getting paid and managing my risk again I'm gonna click the update option here if you have never entered an IPM before in your PayPal account then you'll see this page and need to click on the choose IPN settings button at the bottom of the page here from there you'd simply copy and paste your IPN URL here and then click on this option to receive those IPN messages and then click the save option here. Now if you've already entered an IPN from a previous plugin or something else then you'll see the option to edit these settings. So you would simply click edit settings and then do the same thing as earlier. Enter in your new IPN here and make sure that the receive IPN messages is enabled and then click save. With that, the IPN URL, URL has been properly set, and with that, my payments will now complete. But to bring users back to my MemberPress thank you page after completing their payments, 
I'll have to set up my return URL and its associated settings. To do this, we'll need to start by copying the return URL from my settings page here in MemberPress. So again, I'm going to click this clipboard icon to copy that, and then I'm going to go back to my PayPal account. Again, I'm here in my profiles selling tools, as I've been in this, this whole time, and now I'm going to click the update option for this um, section here entitled website preferences. So I'm just going to come over here and click this update link. And here's where I'm going to enter in my return URL. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've copied that in and I want to um, go over some of the settings that are on this page to make sure that your users are returned back to your member press thank you page properly. First of all, you want to make sure that this auto return is enabled or that this on bubble is checked. For the other settings on this page, you want to make sure that your payment data transfer is enabled, that it is on. And then for this setting under the encrypted website payments, that this is set to off. After that, you can go ahead and click save at the bottom of this page. After doing all of this, the last thing you'll need to do is return back to your site and make sure to save this as a new gateway on your site. And there you have it. If you have followed these instructions exactly, then your gateway will be ready for live payments.